Linear equations. Okay, sorry. Linear equations. What um what we have with linear equations is linear comes from line, right? So when you're thinking about what's a linear graph, well, they're lines. Okay? Boom, boom, boom. Right? And we'll even do one with the negative. Okay? Those are all linear linear graphs. So I, I need to figure out what does a linear equation represent, right? Well, there's a couple rules that we want to look at. What are linear equations? And when we're thinking about linear equations, if you guys look at these, it's, it's always a straight line, right? So what a linear equation is very basic and very simple, all right? There's not much going on here. If you guys can kind of think of what happens in a linear, when I was to graph these, right, we know that we have a slope. Up one to the left, up one to the right, right? Here my slope is undefined, here my slope is zero. And so we're, we have a slope, and between our slope, y equals mx plus b, right? Well, really, all we're doing is we're multiplying our slope times our variable, right? And then we add b. Now, our b could be positive, or it really could be a negative b, right? You could here, it's a negative y-intercept. Here, it's a positive y-intercept. So the main important thing that you guys need to understand is when you're looking at linear equations, all the operations that we have on a linear equation is multiplication, addition, and subtraction. That's it. All right? So when, when I ask or, you know, when a book asks or something said, hey, is this a linear equation? Is this going to provide you a line? And you don't have a graphing calculator. There's a couple things you can know about. One, all linear equations can be written in the form y equals mx plus b. All of them can be written in that format. All right? Now, when asking a question, you're usually going to make them a little bit difficult with you. They're not going to make them that simple just to write them in that form. Um, so there's a couple things you need to look out for. One is you cannot have your variable in the denominator. So therefore, you can't have um, you know, y equals 4 over x minus 3. That would not be a linear equation. All right, you cannot have a variable in a denominator. You could have, so that doesn't work, but this one works, y equals x over 4 minus 3. That does work because you can rewrite that as y equals 1 fourth times x minus 3. Okay? The next one, variable in the denominator, you also cannot have variables. And remember, this denominator is being division, right? So you can't be dividing by x. You cannot have variable variables multiplied by each other. So you can't have y equals um, 3x squared plus 2. That's also not going to produce a linear equation. All right? And the reason why I have multiplied, you know, y equals, that's 3 times x times x plus 2. So those are two kind of things to look out for. Remember, when you're looking at linear equations or linear graphs, the only operations we have is multiplication, addition, and subtraction. So if you're seeing division, you cannot have your variable be as a denominator, or you cannot have variables multiplied by each other, giving you an exponent greater than 1. All right, because if you notice, this exponent has a value of 1, and that's the highest that it's going to get on a linear equation. And that's how you solve linear equations.